time now to talk to the head coach of the New England Patriots, and we're doing this in person. Coach, it's great to see you. Uh, I know it's been over a year, but I uh, miss seeing you in person doing this. Doing yeah, this likewise. Oh, good, to, good to catch up with you again, too. You're looking great. Look like you can still throw it. I can still throw it. Hey, hey, I always told you that, that emergency quarterback thing. I know the rule's not in effect anymore, but maybe at some point, and I know you got a pretty good effect with the rules committee, we could, uh, we could change that rule. So let, let's get into formulating your football team. Um, free agency, obviously, you know, out of the picture now as you guys build towards the draft. How closely, given the type of year it's been, the way you've had to study uh, players coming into their program or looking at these kids in college, how closely tied is free agency to the draft process this year? Well, I, I just think every time you get to an opportunity to improve your team, you just try to do the best you can to improve it. So whether it's free agency, the draft, uh, or a trade or a waiver claim or whatever it is, if, if you can improve your team and, uh, and it makes sense, and then you know we're gonna consider it. And uh, you know we've, we've done it a lot of different ways. Sure. So. Um, free agency is free agency. That's that's pretty much that ship's uh, in port now, and so we'll take a look at the draft and try to take advantage of our opportunities there, whatever those are. How surprised are you that potentially you could go one, two, three quarterbacks in this year's draft? Yeah, you know, every year uh, has its own, you know, has its own draft um, circumstances, and, and it's it's so unique. All right, they don't call you Trader Bill for nothing. I know Jimmy Johnson's not in the league anymore. He's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But you guys always got excited to sort of move around on draft day to make multiple trades, and you've made a bunch of those over the years. But you're not one to really give up a bunch of picks to move up a ton. Um, are you excited as this day arrives? Yeah, no, it's always, yeah, it's always an exciting day, uh, you know, to, to bring new people onto your football team and, um, and, you know, see how they develop and all that. So it's... Uh, it's an opportunity to improve our team, and hopefully we can, you know, make good decisions and do that. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm trying to work out a, a trade with Jimmy now. You know, he's he's got some Heinekens on the table, and so uh, you know maybe we get some fishing lures or something like that. See if we can swap something out. Did he get a bigger boat yet, or is he still have the same boat that you and Linda are on down there in the Keys? Yeah, I think he's I think he's going with that same boat. Yeah, yep. he's got, Jimmy's got a pretty good business. He always does. You guys have a lot of changes as far as, you know, Nick was here for a long time. You've worked hand in hand with a lot of coaches, you know, Dave Ziegler. How's that transition been as far as, you know, looking at the way we're going to do things here moving forward to get our team back to where we need to be? Yeah, fantastic. Dave, Dave and uh, Elliot Wolf and, and uh, Matt Grove have done a fantastic job of putting things together this spring. It's good to have Matt Patricia back and he's been involved as well. So. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, we've gotten a lot done. I think we're, we're well prepared. We've got a lot of good information and uh, hopefully we can, like I said, make some good decisions here. You're speaking about Matt and I, I heard you earlier in, in your press conference that you had with the press talk about Matt and just how, what a great job he's done from the personnel side of it, from the grand scheme of things. How well has he adjusted coming back to his new role? Yeah, well, of course, Matt's, you know, he's done this for the last three years in a different organization. So he's very familiar with. Uh, our process, his process, and all the things that go around that. So um, he's been really a, a very valuable resource and uh, confidant and somebody to talk to who's been through the same things that we've been through. And uh, his experience and, and uh, perspective has been, been extremely valuable. All right, Coach, good luck in the draft. You look great. It's always great seeing you in person. I haven't seen you in a year. Go get him. Yeah, thanks, Scott. Good to see you, too.